couple of friends. So I've done some AI freelancing myself, and I also run a program called Lonely Octopus, where we teach people AI and data skills and help them work on freelance projects from real companies. So I have some idea of the AI freelancing landscape, but I want to learn a bit more about these opportunities in AI freelancing, figure out how much money they make, see if it's worth it as a side gig or a main gig, and share my experiences of working with AI freelancers, plus a guide and some tips on how to become an AI freelancer, if you're interested. So I've been procrastinating on this for a little bit, but Fiverr approached me asking if I'll work with one of their AI freelancers to build a product, which is the perfect opportunity. So in this video, I want to show you all how working with AI freelancers work. I decided for this project, I wanted to build three mini study tools because I thought it could be useful for y'all and because I've also built something very similar myself. So I have a good gauge on how long it should take and how much work it should be. This is what the finished product looks like. So first we have a study plan creator. You type in your goal. I want to learn AI skills to build AI apps using OpenAI Assistance API. I already know Python and how APIs work. So let's select a time frame. Let's say we have 10 hours to learn. Type of project we want. This is a coding project, and I prefer YouTube, which is free resources. Let's create a plan. All right, so this is the plan they have for us. An hour one to two, introduction to AI and open AI. Hour three to four, understanding open AI is GPT-3. This, of course, should be GPT-3 or GPT-4. Hour five to six, open AI API. Hour seven to eight, building AI apps. And hours nine to 10, advanced topics in real world applications. And it gives us some YouTube links for how we can, tutorials that we can learn this with. So it looks like some of the links are dead and there are different duplicates. So it's something that we should definitely improve on in our next iteration. But yeah, the next little tool is explaining a concept. For example, maybe you're looking at building um, something using the assistance API from OpenAI and you're looking through the documentation and you notice that there are some of these, like there's get for the API, uh, there's post and you're like might be curious what these requests means and how it works So you may go to explain a concept and ask can you explain to me how get post and things like that work? Can you suggest to me some resources to learn about this? Click So we can see explain concept Get and post are two different types of HTTP methods. This method is used to retrieve data from a server. When you type a URL into the browser, you're sending a get request to the server for that web page. In addition to get and post, there are other HTTP methods like put, delete, patch, etc., which are used to update, delete, and partially modify the resources respectively. And then it lists some resources that you can use in order to learn how these work. By the way, I'll be sharing the entire code base for StudyBench. So you can use that as a starting point if you want to start building your own AI applications or improve on this. Definitely tag me if you do that, um, especially on the prompt engineering parts. The back end is Python, specifically Flask, and your front end is your CSS, HTML, and JavaScript, making use of some templates. Anyways, last mini tool is building a project. I want to build a project using OpenAI Assistance API to create an assistant that can help me do research on specific topics. I want to be able to use code to practice building the assistant and get a step-by-step -step guide to make assistant messages and a thread. Please provide starter code for each step. So a quick Google search, I was able to get the documentation for the assistance API. Here's the documentation. We're going to put five days and AI expert as the type of project build. All right. So let's see what we have here. Day one is to understand the OpenAI API, plan your project. Day two, set up your dev environment. Day three, write basic code to interact with the API. Day four, implement the assistant logic. And day five, test and refine your assistant. All right, here is some starter code to help you get started. Import OpenAI. Here, create assistant. Um, I believe this should be in beta because it's still in beta right now. Your GPT model should be GPT-4. 
Uh, it looks like we do have some of the system and users sending a message and main. Not perfectly correct, but a good starting point. To be fair, the AI freelancers did not have that much time to debug and refine, as you shall see, because we did run into some issues, which I'll go into a little bit later. But first, let me show you the process of finding a freelancer. All right, so this is Fiverr, and you can click on AI services, and it shows you a bunch of different AI services that they have, like AI development, data, content, and generative AI. In this case, I was looking at AI development, specifically AI applications. And there was a lot of people that were here and I messaged a few of them. I'm not going to tell you exactly who it is that I messaged here because I did not get their permission to write their name. So just to respect their privacy and just in case, my actual budget was $3,000 max, but I wanted to first like gauge how much money they would be charging. I also know that this project shouldn't be too difficult. Working quickly, it should take about a week, but probably around two weeks. So I was curious what they were gonna pitch me. This was the actual conversation for a thread where I described what I need in terms of timeline and then also describe it what it is that I wanted. First tip to anybody who wants to work with AI freelancers, try to be as specific as possible in terms of what you want your outputs to look like. Anyways, so a few of them responded back to me and it looked like they were quoting $2,500 to $3,000 USD. Another quick tip is that you should definitely sample a lot of different freelancers to understand what the budget actually is. And if you're non-technical, try to get someone who is technical to give you a gauge for actually how much it should be. And then I ended up going on a couple calls and ultimately chose a freelancer that I thought would be a good fit. Things started out pretty good good. He said that he could do all these things and he was really fast at responding. So I was like, oh, this will be great. And he said he'd be using OpenAI, Pinecone, and Langchain, which wouldn't be my go-to choice. This was back when Langchain was a lot more relevant. So just keep that in mind. He sent me this nice scoping document and show me some of the designs. As you notice that it's pretty different from what we ultimately ended up with because this is when we started having a little bit of difficulties. We were supposed to check in on milestones every week but then he was like oh like you know we can just check in at the end it's not that hard of a project so I was like sure okay I don't think it's that hard as well but towards the end he just told me that he can't actually do it which was super stressful because I had promised Fiverr that I would get this video out like a month ago. So I was kind of like freaking out. I was like, oh my God, like, what should I do? Should I just build it myself? So I went back and reached out to Fiverr again, asking, hey, like, this was the experience that I had. What should I do? And honestly, Fiverr was really good at responding. Um, they were just like, look, like sometimes these kind of things happen, which I get. And then they just told me to go find another AI freelancer. So I'm like, okay, that was definitely an experience. So another tip here is that if you are working with a freelancer, do insist on doing weekly checkups with them. And if you are becoming AI influencers, insist on this as well. Like make sure you have your specs out um, and check in with your client every single week just to make sure that everybody is on track for things. Anyways, they told me to find another freelancer, so I did. By this time, I had already lost a month of time. So I quickly emailed a bunch of different freelancers again, same process, and then jumped on a call with a few of them before I landed on these people. So I can't show their names this time because they did give me permission to do this. Um, so I found these people and they were pretty awesome. So it does say that they were handpicked by the Fiverr Pro team. So I was had had my hopes up for this one and it showed me that they definitely had the skills to do this and they said that they can do AI projects as well. So then we jumped on a call, gave them my specs, same process. And I was like, all right guys, I know that this is really short notice, but I really need to get this out ASAP. And they were amazing. So again, like I know that this should be taking around like two weeks or so, like a week to two weeks to build out. But generally speaking, as a software freelancer, you should always do that like times two in terms of time because it's better to under promise and over deliver. So I totally get that, but they were amazing. And they're like, don't worry about it. We'll get it done within two weeks. So we decided on a price, which was $3,000, which was my max budget. So I did haggle a little bit. Their initial price was a little bit higher, but it does seem like the pricing for this kind of project should be around like $2,500 to three to $4,000. 
um, which is pretty good for like a week to two weeks of work. So that's why I'm saying AI freelancing is a pretty lucrative gig. And you're able to understand general web and app development, how to do some prompt engineering and use APIs like the OpenAI APIs. You are pretty much good to go. And there's a lot of business use cases for this. So anyways, we started development almost immediately. Again, super considerate of them because I did have a deadline to reach. So they sent me over some Figma designs. We had a little bit of back and forth about it and we eventually settled on what the specs will be. Another tip, if you're either working as AI freelancers or you want to be an AI freelancers, try to put them into milestones. So that's why they did a really good job at this. So I exactly knew what it is that they will be delivering at what place. And you also kind of hedge yourself because you're asking for half the payment upfront. Yeah, we pretty much went through the development, um, tweaked the prompts together a little bit, and then did some of the testing to ultimately land on what we have here. So there you have it. That was the entire process. Like I said earlier, I will be providing the entire code base that was being used completely free to you guys so that you can start building on top of this, start tweaking it, using this as a jumping off point um, for optimizing something similar to this, or if you want to build your own AI products. So I'm not gonna go through the full details of this code, so this video isn't super long, but let me know in the comments below Below, if you guys would like to have a live stream in which we walk through this code and build some stuff on top of it. I also link down below where you can try out this deployed project. We are using GPT-4 Turbo right now, but depending on how much traffic that we get, we might decrease that to GPT-3.5. So just a little bit of note there. All right, friends, to end this project, as promised, I'm gonna give you a guide and some tips if you're interested in becoming AI freelancer. There are a lot of opportunities to do AI freelancing. There's significant demand and honestly, not that much supply. That's why you can make quite a lot of money Money, doing something like three thousand and four thousand dollars a gig which would take you like two weeks to a month to build which is pretty good don't you think okay so if you're starting off on fiverr you need to start building up your credentials so that you are getting good traction and then the fiverr team can actually select you as a vetted ai freelancers to attract better businesses on top of that given my experience with lonely octopus and working with people going into ai freelancing and successfully landing gigs, you should also be making this project and posting on places like LinkedIn. We have a student called Matt and during Lonely Octopus, he learned these AI skills and applied them as pro bono freelancing for a company called Stratascratch. He shared this project on LinkedIn and kept on giving updates about the things that he's learning. And eventually he actually got people reaching out to him for freelancing gigs as well. It's totally okay if you don't consider yourself an expert in this field. As you learn, just start posting more about your experiences. You may be thinking like, oh my God, what if people think I don't know things? But actually it's the opposite because people are able to see your progress and they know that you are someone who's able to learn and be able to build projects that may be similar to what their business needs are. In terms of the skills that you need, you definitely need to know Python. You can choose to use Flask or you can use, choose to use something like Django. And in the front end, the easiest is to use templates that are available, but if you wanna make things more fancy, uh, you should learn JavaScript in addition to your normal CSS and HTML stuff. This I would say is the basics to get you started, but I would also recommend learning SQL and how to set up a database. Especially if you're building projects for a company, you don't want to be calling the API so often because it could be too expensive. And you may want some way of storing information that you can pipe through to certain APIs. So that's something else I would recommend that you learn. So this is the end of this video. I hope this is helpful for anybody considering hiring an AI freelancer, we're becoming an AI freelancer. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in either of those things. And I'll also link some resources below that you can explore if you're interested in AI freelancing, uh, what are some of the skills that you may want to learn. Thank you Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. You can click the link below and use the code TINA10 for 10% off your first purchase. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream.